the uh, younger brother, I'm Josh Kinsey again, and uh, this is my sister Jody Bowen, and then her husband Eric Bowen, and their son, my nephew Preston. Uh, well, I own the drugstore and the um, the gift boutique, and of course, fill prescriptions daily for all the patients. Two years ago, I opened the drugstore and the gift boutique, and wanted the soda fountain in here, and um, it just has worked out and. Now my sister and her husband uh, run the soda fountain, and um, it's a true family affair now. So, uh, and the soda fountain, we're we're doing your your classic soda fountain uh, things with the hand dipped milkshakes, and and we make fresh burgers every day, that sort of thing. Um, I was a basketball coach at White Creek Christian Academy, and so I got to coach Preston from the time that he was in fifth grade all the way through high school, and and um, for him to. Uh, be able to, to continue on his playing career at, at a college and especially one that's close by so I can actually get to games and and one that um, has been near and dear to, to our family's hearts for, for years and generations is is uh, pretty special. Uh, well our father, um, Garvis Kinsey, was uh, financial aid director at Truett for years back in the 70s I guess, or yeah, 70s, and um, our mother, they worked there as well in the bookstore. So we grew up at Truett Ball Games, and I remember rolling uh, adding machine tape down the hallway of Miller Hall with some of the receptionists and assistants. It was a part of our community growing up. Dad taught there for years. He taught math, and um, so it was still a part of our life even when he was the financial aid director. And then uh, we all chose at some point to, to attend there. And then we have another sister, a middle sister, um, who also attended and played basketball at Truett. Mostly that biology lab <laughs> where I spent many hours because uh, that was difficult. I and thought I, you mentioned the computer lab where we had to meet with um, meet with Flo, the the acting security guard lady, on on the weekends, and when we had to go in and, and finish up projects over the weekends because we were right. working through Sunday the Sunday afternoons, and, uh, exactly. and church services. To finish up a project that was due Monday or something. <laughs> of course, y'all mentioned Miss Flo, and she used to pick a. Um, she was one of the security officers, and she used to pick a dorm each. I don't know if it was quarterly or, or what, but she would pick a dorm and she would cook uh, biscuits and sweet tea and take them in for that dorm. And it was supposed to be for just that specific dorm, but it ended up that whenever the word got out that she was, which wherever she was, everybody went to that dorm, and it was a uh, good old fashioned buttery biscuits and sweet tea. I was able to uh, gain leadership qualities from Truett. Uh, my sophomore year, I was president of the uh, student body, and uh, that allowed me to kind of step out of my comfort zone, and, and it allowed me to, to be very involved in my future studies in pharmacy school, um, being over several organizations, and, um, and now being very active in the community. So, it helped me with a lot of responsibilities and organizational and leadership skills. Every class is told from the perspective of the Bible. It doesn't matter if you're in psychology class, history class, math class. It doesn't matter. Everything is based on the Bible, period. I think um, a lot of the times when you're in high school, you hear about college and you hear about how hard it's going to be and um, how it's totally different. And in some ways that's true, but I think true it just... Um, tried to get you to um, make the transition smoothly and um, still had that structure there, but they treated you like a grown-up, um, but yet helped you with so many after-hour things and just stayed after and helped with the questions that I had, and I know a lot of the students would stick around and ask questions after class, and uh, um, they were just help, very helping, loving, caring, that family atmosphere. Definitely, yeah. Um. And, and with that family atmosphere, the, again, the, the caring of the instructors and even the administration, um, everybody seems to, to care what's going on with every student. And, and I've even seen that with, with Preston being there now. Um, the, the people who are generally thought of as being high up in administration, even even Dr. Tanner, uh, you know, he knows who Preston is. He knows who I am. He knows what's going on with everything. And, and, Everybody does, and and I find that 
pretty amazing for for a college. I think, um, and and I can say this from from teaching in a in a Christian high school, middle school, uh, you know, elementary school, whatever. Um, I think it's important that those of us who who are Christians that you know we're taught to train up our child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he he will not depart from it. And you know, it doesn't say train him up until he gets to college and then send him off. It's you know, train him up and and to be able to do that and have people who are working so diligently to, to do it in just the way that, that you would do it, if you could be there and do it yourself, is is a great testament to what Truett's doing. If you want your children to be taken care of out of your sight, you know, and, and know that they're in an environment where they can learn with Christian principles and still get the family nurturing that if you could give them at home, um, then Truett is it'll become not only their new home away from home but that family's new home away from home as they travel up for different events and, and things they'll they'll grow to love it just as much as they